It seems like every barista has a different opinion on the best way to store coffee. Now not knowing really annoys us, so we decided to put it to the test and find out. Fridge, freezer or shelf, where should you store your coffee at home? Hey, it's Ben for the Coffee Science and Education Centre at Seven Miles. Today we're going to talk about how to store an open bag of coffee at home. In a previous video, Adam went into detail about the ideal shelf life for a sealed bag of coffee. What we found is that for most coffees, it peaks at around 14 days after roast. Now that's great information to know in say a cafe, where we're going through coffee quickly, opening lots of bags, but at home it's a slightly different story. Typically we've got open bags of coffee and we need to somehow seal those up and store them for later. So where's the best spot to do that? Well, if you're just here for a quick answer, I won't keep you waiting. Our research shows that the freezer is the best place to store coffee. It came out better than the fridge, better than the shelf. It wasn't as good as a sealed bag of coffee, but it was the next best thing. Now there are a ton of elaborate devices on the market for keeping coffee fresh. But for this test, we wanted to keep it simple and test it the way that most people store their coffee at home in the original bag. Now to test this out, we set up blind taste tests with a panel of professional coffee tasters. We stored open bags of the same medium roast coffee on the shelf, in the fridge and in the freezer. So we tested these coffees at 14 days and 28 days and compared them to a sample of the same coffee that was in a sealed bag for reference. Now in these tests, we asked our tasters to give each coffee a score for acidity, intensity, sweetness and smoothness. And finally, while our tasters staggered out of the building in search of fried chicken, we crunched the numbers and came up with these results. So first up is acidity. I know acidity can be a little confusing. So to keep it simple, we'll say acidity is the bright, fruity, zesty sensation that you get from most light and medium roast coffees. Now acidity is generally seen as a good thing and it helps to balance the sweetness and the bitterness of the coffee. So in terms of results, the seal bag was by far the best at preserving the acidity. And to be honest, all of the open bags did a pretty poor job. Having said that, the freezer was slightly ahead of the shelf and the fridge. Now for both sweetness and intensity, the seal bag still wins overall, but the freezer came a solid second place in both of these categories, well ahead of the shelf and the fridge. Now when it came to smoothness, the freezer was actually the overall winner, better than the seal bag. Now this is partly due to the fact that it's got some reduced acidity. Ultimately, whether you think this is a good thing depends on the balance of flavour that you prefer. So in terms of overall results, our winner was definitely the seal bag. Second place was the freezer, followed by the shelf, and in last place was the fridge. Now one thing to watch out for wherever you store your coffee is strong odours. Coffee just loves to soak these up and it can easily ruin a whole bag of coffee with a taint. That's another good reason to store it in an airtight container. So to sum up, here's what we recommend. You're best to buy small amounts of coffee more often. Now for open bags of coffee that you're going to use over more than a few days, you're best to store that in an airtight container in the freezer. All right, that's all we've got for today. Why don't you tell me in the comments, what should we test next time? I'd love to hear what you think. Until then, see you later.